Welcome to this week's episode of the Perceptive Readers, a podcast series made in the Product of Culture, aka Park Books website's office. Hi, I'm James. Is autumn your favorite part of the year? According to the Greek root word of this, it has a meaning of the passing of a year or a fall from height, you see. And so that's why you hear people use the fall and autumn, those two words interchangeably. They both mean the same thing, meaning that it is the end of summer, but it's not winter yet. It's a very nice uh, part of the year. Uh, in times past, it was even called like an uh, Indian summer, if you will, uh, for a variety of uh, reasons. Not that many, but for a variety because of the way that the weather was, the way it could do uh, certain things. Either way, it is the end of the harvest season, and during this time, not only are the crops being harvested by the farmers, uh, but also they may, you know, especially ones who have had land and a lot of shrubbery or trees of that nature, uh, since things start slowing down on the harvest, uh, they would sometimes, especially if they had fireplaces, which, you know, most of them um, in times past had, uh, they would cut down and store up their own wood uh, for the winter. And this was an enjoyable, you know, feat. It, g- it gave you uh, a lot of exercise and hard work, too. And so keep that in mind, because I'm going to mention that about something that persons uh, will enjoy, and it's all a part again of uh, what makes uh, life worth living and the quality of life. I also like to remind persons during this time too that since winter time is uh, approaching, uh, make sure you continue to build up your body, get those uh, vitamins and those immune system boosters, all those types of foods, and yes, smoothies. Vitamin C being the main one, you see, that, uh, look at me giving medical advice. I'm not giving medical advice. Vitamin C is in the fruit, okay? <laughs> so, uh, should I start telling you to eat a lot of oranges, you know, uh, and eat all the other vegetables as well? So, there you go. So, instead of saying vitamin C, just make sure vitamin C is in it, all right? And one more thing about during this time of year, uh, people may want to get in their uh, summer in concerts, you see. Uh, they know it's uh, one of the last times they would be able to uh, go out with just a t-shirt and their shorts on, uh, you know, if once again you don't have a body just, just acclimated to say, hey, I can be outside in 20 degree weather. Oh, Lord, and don't even have to put on a jacket. Hey, not everybody is like that, but I know some are. So as far as with those uh, summer ending concerts, I just want to mention one in, in, in passing because it's maybe a summer ending concert for some persons. It's like a first start. And then a ending at the same time, because this is a, after a long break of really no concerts going on from the year of 2020 to 2021. It was during that time that, yes, even that band, have you heard of them called Against the Current? Uh, most likely many of you perceptive readers, the majority of you have heard of them because you've seen them feature quite a bit at the Product of Culture uh, pockbooks.com website. It's just, again, one of my, you see, uh, choices and uh, music, etc., uh, that I enjoy, you know, in my wide range of enjoyment of the arts. And yes, Against the Current is right up there, as many of you know. Now, with that being said, there was a post that came out from Chrissy Costanza on her Instagram, and I'm just going to read it to you. It says, after almost two years, I can't believe I finally get to say this again. There's an against the current show tomorrow. 
All right, with four exclamation points. First stop, Orlando. Oh, what a place to actually, you know, have it too. Florida, man, is really uh, just a nice uh, dream world type place. I mean, whether you don't even have to go to Disney World. <laughs> it's almost like almost every area in Florida. Well, I, I guess you could say I can only, <laughs> well, like I said, it looked like it even from the plane. Uh, um, just is, is very nice. Um, the weather is very wonderful. Um, the people smiling and everything of that nature. So what a way to start off the tour again, right in Orlando, Florida. And then she goes on or the against the current band goes on to Chicago, Dallas, LA, New York City, uh, Brooklyn and Boston. And she was asking, has everyone uh, gotten their tickets? Because there's uh, concerts, too. Some of them, not only one, but who knows? It may be more, uh, will be, you know, viewable even over the Internet. If you're not able to go to some of these uh, uh, cities, you see that they're going to be performing their life. But all the same, you know, for the ones who can see them live. And if this is a. Uh, Again, something that you've been waiting for for a long, you know, for a long time, uh, whether you view it live or, or you know, over the uh, television or Internet. Uh, may you enjoy it, you see. And so that was one of the things I wanted to share with this post as well. Uh, one more thought about the autumn weather, because I said that I was going to talk about the quality of life. Uh, when persons uh, sometimes wonder, what exactly would we do if we did live forever and everything uh, was perfect? Because don't we need to have challenges, you see, and difficulties? Let me tell you something. If you really analyze, and this is uh, something that I've uh, found out not only from experience, but also, like I said, with conversations with persons who have uh, lived a long time and many of them, you know, have now gone to sleep, uh, you know, uh, until they'll be called again by the grand one himself. Uh, but what God did, remember, since he's perfect, he already knew with the abundance and infinite options and enjoyment that we have on the earth right now, part of that is challenges of hard work you see uh creation because just think about it uh like if against the current was to go to a stadium now look at the marvelous beautiful architecture stadium and buildings around the world that different persons designed some even participated in you know building on their own design whether they knew all the electrical and things of the nature or not but when you picture all that in mind of just building itself is there a lot of brain power involved is there a lot of hard work and challenges involved you know having to pick up heavy things but see that's just that's just not even all to it there are other challenges Persons who are creative, uh, who study the sciences and things of that nature, more and more you develop more of the uh, aptitude or the desire, the same way that God had it, who said what God is love, that your challenges and your enjoyment comes from showing love and, yes, building. You see, it has nothing to do with having to purposely, uh, you know, hurt others or put them through a lot of uh, um, actions that actually uh, take their view and feelings away from what life is about. 
but really it's all geared towards showing what the true life is, what true enjoyment and challenges are, you see. And during the fall, this is why I want to mention this, because uh, for persons who have even worked on farms and things of that nature, you know, there were some days it was just hot, boy, during that summertime and, you know, uh, uh, tilling the ground and things of that nature. And then it was just something about what happened in the fall where you really enjoy the fruits of your labor even more, you see. Uh, those walks that were short during the summertime, you know, like in the afternoon or evening, they may have become a little bit longer. Enjoying the day, as I said again, maybe eating some of the fruits from which you and vegetables that you had planted on the ground. Along with that, uh, you started getting other ideas on what you were going, were going to do, uh, during the wintertime. Just like for some persons, if, uh, they like to write and they barely wrote during the spring and summer, you know, we're really, yeah, during the summer specifically, uh, they already were hunkering down saying, you know, I'm going to work more on my journal. I'm going to paint more now during this season. You see, I'm going to, uh, and go to the coffee shops more during this season and have stimulating conversations and, and talk about some of the things that I've learned from this book or that book. And yes, even the good book. You see, life in just these few moments of even talking about the autumn season um, that we have, you can tell it's meant to be enjoyed. And there are plenty of challenges uh, that are the right type of challenge the challenges that actually are conducive to you learning and growing uh without having the extreme stuff happen that we actually endure today there there's a uh, there are challenges and then there are extremities or extreme types of uh burdens thrown on people that were not meant to be placed upon us in that way, you see. But anyway, these are just a few thoughts. So do you like autumn? Uh, do you like reading? Do you like music? We talked about it all here in this Perceptive Readers. And I just want to tell you right now, hey, you guys, thank you for visiting. Thank you for sharing. You have a very wonderful, wonderful day. You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality.